Come and get it! Come and get it, dinner! Hey guys, and welcome back to What's for Dinner this week. I'm super excited to be bringing you the second week of this series. So as you can see here, I had mod pizza, and although I brought my camera, I did leave my memory card at home. So. I'm gonna have to start bringing one of those with me. Anyway, so on my salad I had romaine lettuce, a little bit of cheese, pepperoni, salami, and some chicken, which you can't see in there, but it's there, I promise. And just a little bit of ranch, light ranch tossed in it, and it was so good and something that I would recommend to anybody. So if you have a Mod Pizza, definitely check that out. Hi everyone, and welcome back to What's For Dinner. Uh, last night I had Mod Pizza, so I inserted a picture there. I had a salad from Mod Pizza. Pizza it was actually really good. If you have a Mod Pizza in your town, it's basically like a subway for pizza, but they do make really good salads too. So, right now I'm currently, uh, I have a non-scale victory. I'm making pancakes for Robert, and I have not had one of them, and pancakes for the dogs too. But I'm going to have kind of a Mod Podge, Hodge Podge, Mod Podge? Hodgepodge. Hodgepodge of um, things for dinner. So I'll show you those in just a second. Okay, so this is kind of complicated. I have two eggs right here. You can't see the other one, and I need to grab a fork, which I'll go grab in a second. There's actually two eggs underneath. Um, and when you're doing like eggs for dinner, if you're gonna have two whole eggs, you have to have a cup of egg whites. So I had that earlier on in the day. So there's two eggs right there. This is actually a brownie fueling made into a pancake. I just added about a tablespoon of egg beaters and then um, some water until it was pancake consistency. And then for my snack for the day, I've got some PB2, two tablespoons of PB2 made up right there for the topping for those. Now you'll see there's no green on here. I know it might be a long night because we're cleaning out his office. <laughs> so in order to get my greens in, I actually was gonna have jicama fries. Don't ask me why, I just really wanted jicama fries um, for dinner and then I realized my jicama was bad. So in just a second, after we finish cleaning the kitchen, I'll go get some jicama and it'll be my late night snack while Robbie and I are cleaning his office. The reason I have a fueling for dinner is because it was kind of a shorter day and I had those egg whites earlier. So I'm replacing um, some protein for a fueling and I replaced a fueling for protein earlier. And so I still have three green left for the day, two condiments, and one fueling left. So that is what I'll be having for tonight's dinner. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's Wednesday night, dinner number three of the week. We are having fish this evening and a couple of different other things. So let me show that to you. Okay, starting from the back. I've got one cup of green beans to equal two greens, one cup of romaine lettuce to equal one green. So there's my total of three greens, two tablespoons of Bolt House Ranch to equal one healthy fat, and some fish that I'll put the recipe to on my blog um, that's just got like some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb on there and a little bit of cayenne pepper. And then for my other healthy fat for the evening, I've got some guacamole that I'll just use to kind of season a little more of the fish with. Um, I like to dip my fish and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. But also, oddly enough, this is only about four ounces of fish, so I will have to have some more protein later on in the form of like Greek yogurt or some cheese or something. So we'll get that figured out. But this is dinner for the evening. Happy Wednesday. Hi there and welcome to Thursday. Tonight we're going out to dinner with some of Robbie's coworkers. So I don't want to embarrass him and bring the camera, although they probably wouldn't care. They know that I do this kind of thing. Um, so we're going to Chewy's and at Chewy's I always get a grilled chicken fajita salad or what is it called? It's called Fiesta Cop Salad. Let me check. There it is, the Mexi Cobb salad right there. So I always get it without the green chilies, without the tomatoes, and then I get um, avocados on top, like I get some guacamole on top, but also sometimes I'll get avocado ranch and I dip it in. I don't ever pour it over the salad because you always use way more than you think. I just dip it in. And because I've had 128 ounces of water today, I'm gonna allow myself to have a Coke Zero. People ask me all the time, like, how do you deal with going out with friends or with family and not feel like you are being deprived? I always allow myself to have one little something, something that's still on plan, but something, you know, like maybe I'll have a Coke Zero or a Diet Coke 
or I don't know, that's pretty much usually what I do. But, um, you know, just a little something so I don't feel like I'm being deprived and I still feel like I'm getting the treat of going out to eat. So, hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Okay, so for Friday, we had some friends over, we had dinner, we went to an escape room, and in all the hustle and bustle, I completely forgot to film, but we do lots of cookouts at our house, and we had burgers that night. So I had a five ounce turkey burger with a slice of sharp cheddar cheese, and then jicama fries for my green, and that was about it. Super simple, but so delicious.